Hello, hello there. It's Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got another great interview coming up for you shortly. But uh, don't forget, we have those subscribe button and bell buttons down there below there. And when you click those, you'll always be notified of any new episodes coming your way. And if you'd like to leave a message uh, on the uh, comment section below, you can. And we're on Facebook. Go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And uh, you can comment on everything you see there and send us an inbox and obviously uh, follow us there. We'd love for you to do that. And we'd love to hear from you on email as well. PaulMashTV, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or a solo artist and want to be on the show, go ahead and send us an email and we'll show you how to do that. But we always welcome fan mail with that same email, so send us a letter and we'll get back to you. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Bella Vista, Arkansas today, we have uh, Jerry Nelson. This is the second time on the show. We had him on the show about four years ago. And he's got a lot of updates uh, for us, so uh, we hope that you enjoy that. And uh, before we get into that, here's a quick word from Galtar, the guitar made specifically for women. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this. Ready in five. <laughs> Darling, when nothing else seems to match up. Galta, the musical apparel that fits any outfit. Galta, bringing heaven to earth. One gal at a time. Galtarheaven.com Okay, we're back and uh, with us from Bella Vista, Arkansas, we have for the second time on our show, uh, Jerry Nelson. Thank you for joining us, Jerry. Well, thank you so much, Paul. I really do appreciate you putting up with me one more round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been about four years or so since he was last on the show and... Um, uh, we keep in contact from time to time. But anyway, uh, tell us a little bit about some of the things you've been going through since you were on last on the show. Well, um, the last... Since it's been four years, I'm sure you got a lot to yeah, talk yeah. about. Yeah, the last time I was with you, um, I was administrating a radio station. And uh, a couple of years after that, um, the person that owned, <clears throat> excuse me, that owned the radio station decided that that they were going to shut it down. Uh, so, uh, I don't do that anymore, but I, I, I still write songs. Um, I, I write three or four songs a week and, uh, and, and I've been releasing them. Uh, I think at this point today, I have 50, 54 or 55 singles released out on the digital platforms, uh, iTunes, Spotify, and all those places, stuff like that, you know, and, uh, with a couple of albums that I, that I did a while back, but I, uh, I have, I still got my band here in uh, Northwest Arkansas, Bella Vista, and we we still perform uh, two or three times a month. Uh, I still enjoy that, although I can't pick up the speakers anymore. I I, uh, I got a bass player from New York. I have him pick the speakers up, Paul. So, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but I'm still writing songs, um, still performing, and I'm still recording my songs, and I have about fifteen projects in uh in the works right now uh i just need to do a few things to them you know sing them and uh put some guitar parts on them and put some bass parts on them mm -hmm. and uh it's still something that i enjoy you know it, even after all of this time um i enjoy being with my wife of uh, 57 years absolutely and uh she's the piano player in my in my band and uh we both love to play music and i still love to record uh, right now I am in my recording studio at my house, which is in the lower level. So you notice the, uh, my, my wife, the boss put me downstairs. So, <laughs> you know, but, uh, I still love recording and, uh, I, 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 I do it on a weekly basis. And, uh, I'm not sure, Paul, if I'll ever catch up with all the songs I've written. Um, cause I'm at 200 plus songs that I've written mm. and I've only released, like I said, 54, 55 and, uh, I'm not sure I'll ever catch up, but I'm but I'm going to continue to work on them uh, all the time and uh, and uh, try. I'm going to try to get the bulk of them finished so I can. I, I want to hand them down to my children and my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. 
So. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's quite a bit that you've done in the last four years, and uh, I, I know you'll keep going. And uh, um, what what about concerts? Are you doing any shows recently, or so? Maybe you can tell us some of them that way if they're in the area, they can check that out. Yes, 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 yes. We we uh, uh, this past summer we played the Arkansas Festival here up in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, we played at uh, several outside venues uh, on on the weekends in, in this in this area. Uh, we play the Elks Lodges, the American Legions, and, uh, you know, any place where they, uh, have a dance floor and, uh, they're looking for a band we play. Um, I haven't talked to you since COVID happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, and since COVID, we don't do very many anniversaries or birthday, uh, jobs, uh, because people are, you know, still trying to get past all that COVID stuff. And, uh, but. But we, we, we do play a couple of times a month, and uh, we, we, do, we do enjoy that. And we got a big Christmas show coming up on December 9th at the Elks Lodge in Rogers, Arkansas. So if anybody out there is listening to this uh, show and you're close to Rogers, Arkansas, on December 9th, uh, come on down to the Elks Lodge. When you come in the door, tell them you know me. And uh, they'll kick you right out. No, <laughs> tell them you know me, and uh, we'll get you in there to, to see us. We're going to have a Santa Claus uh, on site, so uh, children are welcome, uh, families are welcome. It's going to be a really good time, and we're going to have contests like an ugly, uh, ugly Christmas sweater contest. We're going to have that, and uh, so it, yeah, it's, it's going to be a, a fun evening. That's on December ninth at the Elks Lodge in uh, Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, and in between that and what I do today, I'll be recording and making songs and trying to, you know, get them all mastered and get them finished and and uh, get them out there on the digital platform so Chris Spear can uh, pick them up. <laughs> okay. Well, like you said, on December 9th, uh, check out the Elks Lodge at Rogers, Arkansas, and um, check that out. And uh, I know you'll love it. I know he'll love you to be there. And um uh, as he mentioned, all of his stuff is on the streaming platform. So go to any streaming platform and you'll find uh, his music. It's spelled G-E-A-R-Y, obviously. Yeah, uh, Nelson. yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my name is uh, G-E-A-R-Y Nelson. I, I get a lot of people kind of looking at me kind of funny. And uh, honest to God, that's what's on my birth certificate, <laughs> that the spelling. But, you know, and, and you and I talked about this before, Paul. Um, I went through my whole life until, uh, you know, five, six, seven years ago, um, spelling my name G-A-R-Y. And uh, I noticed that, you know, on the digital platforms, when you looked up G-A-R-Y Nelson, um, it was way at the end. You had to page through a whole bunch of stuff. And I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to have to come up with a stage name so that, you know, so it's more different. And, and so I, I don't know why I looked at my birth certificate. Uh, because my parents were gone by that time. And uh, I looked at it, and my gosh, my name is spelled G-E-A-R-Y on my birth certificate. And so I went out, and it took me a while to get everything changed on the platforms and on my publisher site and all that kind of stuff. And uh, sure enough, now when you look up G-A-R-Y Nelson, uh, G-E-A-R-Y Nelson, uh, I'm in the first page. Mm -hmm. oh. Very first one. So uh I have a couple albums out there, Continues to Burn, Disguise in Your Eyes, uh, and, and, and on top of that, I have like 50 uh, singles out there um, on those platforms, and uh, you know, just stop by and give me a listen. Okay, and uh, in just a minute, we're going to be playing your music video. It's called Think of Me. I guess it's self-explanatory, but tell us a little story about that song we're looking well, for. You know, uh, I have a lot of military friends, and Sad to say, uh, a, a lot of those folks that I've known over the years have run into this problem where, you know, they, they have a girlfriend and so forth. And and then when they went into the military, uh, they got Dear John letters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after a few years, I, 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 I've been working on this song for uh, the idea of the song for a couple of years. Uh, basically, Think of Me is, is about a guy that proposed to a girl uh, they made commitments and then he ended up going into the army or service military uh, overseas and uh, 
then she decided to send him a dear line, dear John letter and uh, left him in the sands of time by himself. And so this, the song reiterates what he's thinking. Do you think of me when you're holding him tight in America? Mm -hmm. Do you think of me when you kiss him at night? And th that's basically what the song's about. Uh, poor military person being left alone without his love in the sands of Afghanistan and all, all those areas over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, it is a great song. And I know everyone out there, you're going to agree with that too. And we'll uh, get to that in just a second. But Jerry, thank you so much for coming back on the show again. Uh, sure. come, back, come back anytime you want to come back and we'll plug something new for you. Absolutely, Paul. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. No problem. And here it is. Uh, Think of me by Jerry Nelson. And it begins right now. When he holds you tight, when he's loving you, do you think of me? Once upon a time, you said you were mine. Promises made. Some spark was left. 